Hello and welcome to Guilt Free Style. I'm so happy you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Today we are going to talk about prints and silky fabrics for spring. I've really been feeling the whole bohemian vibe out here in California. The temperatures are rising and I've got a mini thrift haul with some items that will be available on my Poshmark. So the first item we are starting with is oversized leopard print maxi skirt from Nasty Gal. Beautiful side slit all the way up the top. It's great with like a bikini or a one piece if you're, if you're going anywhere soon and you need to cover up. There's a zipper enclosure on the side. It is extremely high waisted, which I love. So you could do a crop top with this too. I styled it here with just a black tank top. These tank tops are great. They're from Target for um, $5, not sustainable. This was, I, I purchased these before I began my whole thrifting journey, the second half of it. I also styled it with a concert tee. This Metallica tee is really versatile. Basically here, I'm just tying it in a little knot and then giving it a, the illusion that it's cropped. It just makes it t a tiny bit more casual. And then I love the silhouette that was happening. Um, Kind of looks like there's shoulder pads but there's not and the, the hack is that you just tuck the t-shirt sleeves under your bra strap and it gives you the same effect as the t-shirts that were all over the place last summer i love a hat and my favorite hat company right now is lack of color and it's an investment for these pieces but they really take the time to craft each hat they're beautiful and this gives it just kind of a real la summer, spring vibe. I paired it with some slides, some studded slides. Those ones I got at William B. a few years ago. Okay, so the third look, sorry, third look, second item is this, again, really silky, easy, light fabric for spring and summer. A very Versace inspired print. I don't know if you can see that. It's really ornate with like gold and this really rich green, and then this Greek kind of um, design right here with the train links, very Versace. It's Forever 21, it's a large. It's got a tie at the front, which I actually prefer to not tie. I think it makes more of a statement when it's not tied. For a staycation, you don't have to go anywhere, you could book a hotel for a night. I love the back, Forever 21, when they make prints, they don't always pay attention to the way the prints line up. But this particular piece, the reason that I bought it is because um, the pattern was so beautifully lined up. This very simple layered look, black tank. You could also wear like a gray tank underneath it. And yes, skinny jeans that are distressed. I don't know what you want from me, I'm 51. That's just how I like it. And some heels, slides. I also thrifted this bag which I think I'm gonna keep because I really, really love it. It's very Chloe inspired leather bag from Zara. Definitely poolside, summer vacation, brunch. Very versatile. I also tied the ties in the back um, because that will create an illusion of a uh, curvy silhouette because it kind of cinches it in. You can do it at the front, but if you do it at the back, it, it's like a, just a smoother eye line. There's nothing disrupting your waist. So if you're conscious about your waist, you won't bring attention to it that way. I still love cat eye glasses. Are we still wearing cat eye glasses? I love them still, so who cares? Next item is my favorite. Okay, so the label says Austin Gray. I'm sure it's a men's robe because it seems very like stereotypical men's department robe from Sears or something again silky satiny it's got a tie around the waist pockets a kimono sleeve you guys I adore this robe I don't know if I'm gonna sell it it's so versatile so here I styled it again with a lack of color hat black tank skinny jean and then I put the slides on with the studs but as a dress, it's super sexy. You can decide how shy you wanna be with the front. I did a little bit of an overlap, a wider belt, adding some earrings, again, from Target. 
anything that's big and blousy like that. I kind of prefer a wider belt. I, I do love a thin belt, but I don't know. I'm a, I'm a good sized woman, so I still kind of lean towards a wider belt. So here's the thing with robes. If you see a robe that you like at a secondhand store, buy it. Because even though you know you bought it in the robe department, other people aren't gonna know. They're not going to know. So you throw it on over some denim and a tank top, easiest outfit, it finishes it, it completes it, it wraps it all up. Put on a cute head wrap, like something like this. If you get a solid, you could do like a quick little head wrap, cute little head wrap with your robe and love it. Look, still the third item. We're gonna take that same robe, scrunch it right up because it's a nice thin silky fabric and tie it once and you've got a kimono top. I show cleavage, go for it. If not, you can just either tuck it or pin it. I actually have a tutorial on my Instagram for head wraps. People think that they're hard to do. They're not hard to do. This look is giving me happy hour when we're allowed to go out. We are actually allowed to go outside. We can sit on the patio in this outfit. So those are the looks. I hope you enjoyed this item. So the maxi skirt and the maxi duster definitely will be available on my Poshmark and they will definitely be priced reasonably. So happy shopping. Thank you for stopping by and I will see you next time.